This subway system costs $2.6 billion per mile to build, eight to 12 times more than it would have cost in Europe. This is the Second Avenue subway, the newest addition in New York. It took almost 100 years and half a billion dollars over budget to build. Why is New York so bad at building new transit? Let me explain. The city first set out to add a line down 2nd Avenue in 1929, but the Great Depression, World War II, and a this guy delayed the project. The city began in earnest in 1969, drawing up a plan that was estimated to cost $220 million. There was even a groundbreaking in 1972. A financial crisis led to more delays, and in 2004, there was a new plan, this time estimated to cost $3.8 billion and open in 2013. In 2017, the city opened up three stations, and it cost a hefty $4.5 billion. And the city isn't done. There are three more phases to go. Phase two was already set to cost $6 billion, but it's almost $2 billion over budget. Why did it take so long and cost so much for the city to build three little stations? Well, it mainly comes down to how labor costs are set in New York. When labor unions and construction companies negotiate, no one has an incentive to cut costs. Unions want the most jobs and best wages for their members, and construction companies want the biggest payout from the city. As a result, underground construction in New York City uses four times as many people as similar projects in Europe, Asia, and Australia. Instead of prioritizing building solid infrastructure and minimizing costs, the city has instead prioritized unions and contractors over millions of everyday people who take the subway.